Welcome to the Metro Archive, a project developed in collaboration with the New York Times R&D Lab for the NYC Media Lab Spatial Computing for News Challenge. At the core of Chinatown's dense cultural melting pot lies crooked Little Doyer Street, dotted with beauty salons, tea parlors, and cozy restaurants. If you had visited the same site 115 years back, however, you'd be standing at the very epicenter of old Chinatown gang culture. Let's take a walk down Doyer Street in 1905. The Mandarin Tea Garden, New York's first Chinese restaurant, overlooks the bloody angle where gang members supposedly carried out hatchet-handed murders. The Chinese theater lies atop a network of underground arcades used as escape routes by the local Tongs. The Chinese Tuxedo Restaurant was the site where the first Tong lore was reconciled over a classic Chinese feast. Recognizing the storied history that can be quietly embedded within the streets we walk on a daily basis, we strove to develop a product that truly places history in context. I'm Sammy Levin, the team design lead. And I'm Makoi Zhu, the team software lead. And we're undergraduate students from New York University, here to introduce you to our product, the Metro Archive. The Metro Archive is an immersive augmented reality experience that enables readers to explore historic city streets as they were centuries ago. Our product empowers readers to experience history immersively, enriches everyday environments, and contextualizes current events. For readers who can explore Doyle Street on site, the Metro Archive app can be used to view historic buildings in 3D at full scale in the vicinity. Informational cards and photographs are also included to contextualize the area. To present an intuitive and streamlined user experience, the interface includes just one interactive element, the mode selector. By selecting immersive mode, readers can explore the virtual environment and get a closer look at the buildings in the vicinity. In historic mode, virtual buildings are accompanied by assets, bite-sized text, photo and video cards featuring information like event retellings and biographies. This information is largely sourced from the New York Times archive, breathing new life into old articles. In contemporary mode, the virtual building fades out and new assets appear. Here, we included a restaurant review of the newly opened tuxedo restaurant down the street and an opinion piece on the national-wide decline of Chinese restaurants. When tabbed, these assets deep link to their full-length article in the New York Times app or their location in the Maps app. For those who can't be on site, whatever the circumstances, we've developed a version that offers the same exploratory experience in an at-home setting. This experience will be packaged in the New York Times Magazine article featuring photos of the street along with text explaining the area's relevance in past and present. One of the magazine spreads would feature a unique layout, including two columns of text, a small user guide, and a square whiteboard. This board includes a map of Doyle Street, along with informational modules about specific buildings on the street. It can be read by circling around the board, much like you would when playing Monopoly. The entire spread is intended to be torn from the magazine and laid on a flat surface like a coffee table. By downloading and opening the Metro Archive app, then aiming it at the board, a new degree of interactivity is unlocked. In immersive mode, readers can explore the board by rotating it. If you take a close look, you'll notice buildings and module numbers are highlighted in orange. Depending on what module is being read, the corresponding building is highlighted. When stopping to explore a particular building, historic mode grants readers a closer look at the building on a tabletop scale. A guided audio tour draws the user's attention towards specific architectural features. Contemporary mode shows what the same building looks like today, and the voiceover describes the building's change in appearance and function. In order to revive a 115-year-old building, we used modern-day photos to create a 3D model. 2D photo textures were generated from archive photos and projected onto 3D surfaces. To orient content in the environment, we leverage Apple's ARKit and TeamKit frameworks. Our program first uses the phone's camera and sensor to analyze the environment and identify an image target like the yellow banner. Referencing this target, virtual space is oriented to match real space. Then, models and assets are rendered in this virtual space. Much the same functionality is applied in the print version, but the image target is the magazine spread and buildings are selected by gouging distance between the phone and each module. 
when readers shift closer to one module than another, its corresponding models will be selected and displayed. At the large scale we are working at, some limitations are introduced. Shaky movement of the device and complex lighting conditions can cause models to be skewed, especially in the on-site version as depicted on the left. Additionally, because the program relies on proprietary technologies developed by Apple, it is only available to newer iOS devices. For developers, modeling buildings from a limited handful of archived photos can be a tedious and somewhat inaccurate process. Additionally, finding ways to quickly align and lay out content in 3D space and test out the results in real time would significantly accelerate the development process. If you've ever visited Boston, you may have encountered the Freedom Trail, an urban walking tour dotted with historic informational plaques. This walk through history is a simple way to support tourism, empower local businesses, and educate the public. Inspired by Jazz Lyle's Hidden Stories project, the Metro Archive can one-up the Freedom Trail by offering an expansive series of walkable experiences where entire city blocks can tell their stories in immersive 3D. Picture a high school field trip to a historic site guided by AR, or a family of New Yorkers discovering something new about the block they live on. We see the Metro Archive as the first step towards a seamless digital layer over the real world and a means to combine education and entertainment. You can test out the Metro Archive from home using an iOS mobile device by visiting the link on the screen. We'd love it if you shared this experience with friends and family, and we'd appreciate any feedback you may have. Thank you for your time.